Hi everyone, it's your data science diva. Uh, this is Laura Dell, and today I want to talk to you about data science in general. So while it's the hottest new thing right now, everybody wants a flavor. If you are going about data science without meaning or purpose, then you are going to end up with results that have no meaning or purpose. So it is very important as you go down this journey to sit down and think about what is my business process or processes that I care about? What are the things that materially move the needle when I'm planning my business? These are the things that you would then want to think about machine learning for. For example, um, most of you will understand the forecasting process. You will have a quarterly or annual budget you need to plan for. You will have expense drivers, things that departments need to request or go through a process to request. Potentially it's project based, um, but there's a cycle that you go through. And in these different cycles, you will have a set of drivers that predict or have a different predictive meaning. And those drivers become very critical into having an accurate forecast. And so I can't stress enough, as you go down the process of thinking about data science, thinking about machine learning, before doing it just because it is super cool to do and all the kids in the play yard are doing it, think about what is the purpose that I'm doing this for? What is the process that materially drives my business or processes? And then think of it more as a way to integrate with that process as opposed to a separate project in a silo living in an island, you know, of misfit toys where one day it's going to pop up and say, hi, I have a model for you here, but then it's not meaningful because you can't tie it to any bottom line result or top line driver. So therefore, I suggest the following steps for you. One, look at what your business is planning annually for the year. What are the most strategic goals or plans that your company has? Two, take those goals and map them down to the metrics that are being used or KPIs to measure success. Is it departmental? Things like potentially you wanna grow revenue. Is each department tasked then with a revenue number? Or potentially, in my case, let's say it's, we wanna grow cloud consumption of using Azure. Okay, what does that look like? What is the growth number? Um, if, if we are expected to grow in FY20 a certain number, then does that flow out to each of the different departments? I presume it does, or each of the different services in our case in the cloud. Yes, so therefore then you want to tie then your forecast to whatever the business is stated is those specific departmental or service based goals. Then what you can do then is predict or forecast against each individual department, flow it up to the top line into an overall forecast, and then understand each of the individual drivers that you can move, let's move those needles, to see the forecast accuracy change for the better or for the worse. At the end of the day, most companies that do have a forecast will re report on the actuals. They will then also report on the projected as well as the budgeted. And in there lies a variance, sometimes high, sometimes low, uh, from actual to forecast as well as actual to budgeted. And what's important in there is if a department asks for too much money, their budget, and they don't use it by the end of the year, then they've been allocated money that could have been allocated elsewhere. Likewise, if the company sets goals and forecasts a specific number and the actuals come in much lower, then you miss your targets. And if you're a public company, that's painful. So these are numbers that you can then both materially measure, A, flow down to the department, B, roll back up to the top line, C, and then apply machine learning. That way, when your CEO wants to know how did machine learning affect our business, was it worth the cost, the, the cost of data scientists, the cost of learning new um, software, even if it is open source, there still is usually a learning curve. When he asks what was the benefit of using machine learning, you can say and point to your forecast, the accuracy improvements, and then show how those accuracy improvements flow down to things like, hey, budgeting cycles were improved by you know, time. It took a lot less time to roll up these budgets at the annual planning review. Therefore, people save time, and that's always a big plus. So when you're going down your data science process, in summary, think about something like a forecast, which most of us can understand, and sit down and think about your business and how it applies to you first. Find a process end to end. Maybe it's in the call center. Maybe it's in marketing. Maybe it's in product development. Maybe it's in finance and forecast. 
Sit down and find out what materially matters to your business and then start thinking about machine learning, not vice versa. I hope you've enjoyed this little spot tip from the Data Science Diva and have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.